Hey guys, so the other day, I'm walking down the street, right? Just minding my own business, probably thinking about tacos. You know how it is when you're just lost in your thoughts, imagining that perfect bite of a crunchy, delicious taco. The sun was shining, people were bustling around, and I was in my own little world. Suddenly, this guy bumps into me. Not just a little bump, like a full-on shoulder check. I almost spilled my imaginary taco. It was like a scene from a movie where everything slows down and you can see the disaster unfolding in slow motion. I look up, ready to give this guy a piece of my mind, and guess what? He's wearing a name tag. A name tag? Who does that? I mean, it's not like we're at a conference or something. It was just so out of place. Anyway, the name tag says Steve, so I'm like, hey, Steve, watch where you're going, buddy. I was half expecting him to apologize, but instead he just looked at me with this bewildered expression. And that's when things got weird. Steve looks at me, eyes wide, and goes, you know my name? Like, seriously, Steve? It's right there on your chest in big, bold letters. I mean, duh, Steve, it's right there on your shirt. I couldn't believe he was so surprised. It was almost comical. But before I can even say anything, this other guy swoops in out of nowhere. It was like he materialized out of thin air. He's all serious, wearing a trench coat, fedora pulled low over his eyes. Like something out of a spy movie. The whole vibe changed instantly, and I felt like I was in the middle of some secret mission. This guy leans in close to Steve and whispers, I've come for your name. The way he said it was so intense, like it was the most important thing in the world. And that's when things got really interesting. I had no idea what was going on, but I knew I was in for an unexpected adventure. The street around us seemed to fade away, and all I could focus on was this bizarre encounter. What could possibly happen next? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've never had someone try to steal my name before. It's not exactly something you hear about every day, right? I mean, what do you even do with a stolen name? Open a credit card? Apply for a loan? Start a new life as a mild-mannered accountant named Steve? Maybe even get a new job? The possibilities are endless, I guess. You could reinvent yourself completely, but Steve, he doesn't even flinch. Not a single muscle moves. He just stares at the guy in the trench coat and says, You in what army? Seriously, who does that? The trench coat guy smirks like he's been waiting for this moment. No army, Steve. Just me and my trusty eraser. Just me and my trusty eraser. Can you believe that? He pulls out this giant eraser like it's some kind of magic wand. It's the size of a loaf of bread. I'm not even kidding. It's absurd. He holds it up to Steve's name tag and goes, Prepare to be nameless like he's some kind of villain in a comic book. Steve looks at me like he's expecting me to do something, then back at the eraser, which is now inches from his name tag. And I swear I saw a bead of sweat drip down his forehead. The tension was palpable. Now I know what you're thinking. Jimmy, why didn't you do something? And to that, I say, hey, I'm a talk show host, not a superhero. Plus, this whole thing was so bizarre, I was kind of frozen in place, like a deer in headlights. A deer with really good hair, but still. I mean, have you ever been in a situation so strange that your brain just can't process it? That's exactly what happened to me. I was standing there, watching this surreal scene unfold, and I just couldn't move. It was like my feet were glued to the floor, but just when I thought Steve's name was about to be erased from existence, something amazing happened. It was like a scene straight out of a movie. You know, the kind where the hero swoops in at the last second to save the day. Only in this case, the hero was the last person anyone would expect. A little old lady walking her poodle stops right in front of the trench coat guy. She looks him dead in the eye and says, you leave that young man's name alone. Her voice was firm, unwavering, and full of authority. It was as if she had dealt with situations like this a hundred times before. The guy's jaw drops. He stammers. He clearly wasn't expecting anyone to stand up to him, let alone a little old lady with a poodle. It was almost comical to see his reaction. But, but, I need his name! His voice was desperate, almost pleading. It was clear that he was in over his head. The little old lady crosses her arms. Well, you're not getting it from him. Her stance was resolute, and there was no doubt in anyone's mind that she meant every word she said. And just like that, the situation took a turn for the unexpected. It was as if the universe had decided to throw a curveball, and we were all just along for the ride. The tension in the air was palpable, and everyone was on the edge of their seats, waiting to see what would happen next. The trench coat guy looks from the little old lady to me, then back to Steve. He sighs. Fine, he mutters, but I'll be back. And with that, he throws the giant eraser into the air, spins around dramatically, and disappears down the street. I'm not making this up. The little old lady smiles at Steve. There you go, dear. No need to thank me. And she just walks away, her poodle trotting beside her. 
Steve and I just stand there for a second, completely speechless. Finally, I break the silence. So, I say, that just happened. Steve nods. Yeah, he says. I guess it did. He looks down at his name tag like he's seeing it for the first time. You know, he says, maybe I should get this thing laminated. And that, my friends, is the story of how I almost witnessed the great name robbery of 2024. I still don't know what that trench coat guy wanted with Steve's name, but I learned a valuable lesson that day. Never underestimate the power of a little old lady with a poodle. So, the next time you see someone wearing a name tag, give them a smile. You never know what kind of adventure their name might be on. Hey, if you enjoyed that story, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more hilarious tales from my life. And don't forget to share this with your friends, especially if their name is Steve. You know, just as a heads up. Until next time, stay tuned.